some of you may remember the short video I did a couple weeks ago ranting against the Department of Education and how their website didn't support Macs. Well, it still doesn't support Macs, but I think I may have come out with a workaround if you have a Mac and you're trying to fill out your financial aid uh, using uh, FAFSA.gov. Now, look, I don't, I don't say that this is going to work. I don't even say that it's not going to cause problems. Uh, the best bet is to use a Windows machine if you can get one, even if you have to go to your library to do it. But if you like really have an aversion against Windows or you only have a Mac and that's all you have access to, then you know give it a shot and, and try it. You know this this could be a possible solution for you. Okay, here's your typical Mac desktop, and if you go down here and open up Safari, um, you'll notice up here along the top I have a a menu that says Develop. Uh, you don't have that menu right now, most likely, and I'm going to show you how to turn it on, and I'll show you why in just a second. If you go over here to Preferences and you go to the advanced tab down here at the bottom of the advanced tab is a checkbox that says show develop menu in the menu bar once you check that box you'll get this new menu item up here that says develop you may have to restart safari once you've got it when you pull it down you have here a selection that says user agent and if you look over here you have different versions of Safari for Mac and Windows, um, versions that are like the iPhone uh, and Internet Explorer. These are the ones that are important to you right now. What these are, the in the browser there's something called a user agent. That user agent is what tells the website that you're going to what operating system and browser you're running. Uh, and that's important because sometimes things are optimized for one browser versus another. Things may need to show up in a different way. And there's something called web standards. I'm not going to really get into it because it's outside the scope of this discussion. But a lot of sites have to break their standards to work with IE. So it has to know that. And sometimes there's even a different page if you're showing up in Internet Explorer. So what this will do is it will tell the Department of Education site that you're coming from a Windows machine using Internet Explorer. Okay, that's enough for Safari. Uh, if we go down here to Firefox and we open up Firefox and up here in the right hand corner you're going to want to type in user Agent Switcher Firefox. I have it saved because I was looking for it earlier. Once you do that, your top selection here should be User Agent Switcher Add-ons for Firefox. Once you click that, you're going to go to a page that's going to have the extension for Firefox called User Agent Switcher. And what that will do is that will put a menu up here in your tools menu that says default user agent and you go in here and you can switch it to one of these in Internet Explorer. What you're going to do when you get to this page is just click this add to Firefox. Once you click that, follow the prompts, it will install it. You'll have to restart the browser and once you restart it, again, you'll get this tools menu up here with this says user agent and you can go in here and select you'll probably want to select Internet Explorer 7 it's probably the one that will work best for you I hope this helps